All right, what's going on, guys? I'm Jace. And I'm Josh. And we have another death battle to watch today. It's he, he, not one I'm really looking forward to. It's He-Man versus Lionel. Yeah, it was rec it was requested. It's really old. It's one of the first death battles. I don't know if the quality is going to be that good. And it's between two characters that I know nothing about. Well, then we're in the even. So we have nothing to go off of but the analysis. It sounded... We kind of been putting this one off, but you know what? We're going to... I think eventually we'll have watched all the death battles anyway, so... I only know one thing about He-Man. He has the power! He-Man. I don't know that reference. That's what It's like something that happens. Like, I have the power! Anyways, we are going to get started with this. It's 15 minutes, not bad. Right. We're going to get this one over with, right? Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Netflix. And chill. <laughs> Just the old, in, the old intro. Ah, the glorious 80s. That odd era of big hair, key tars, and goofy muscular heroes of questionable <laughs> sexual preference. He what? Man, master of the universe. And lion -O, lord of the Thundercats. He's with an arm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, the and hell? skills. The hell? It's bubble. Who would win a death battle? Eh, it's not that bad, I guess. Um, Let's go, Cringer. He man and yeah, Apple was he just writing a triceratops in that? He's writing something. Screenshot. Prince Adam is the pathetic, bumbling son to the royal family of Eternia. Wait a minute, that's the... <laughs> <laughs> Dumb what? Ass. That's the guy who goes... You ever seen that? No. He -Man, the most powerful Chippendale in the universe. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull. Wait, wait, that's his origin story? He just thrust his sword up and down and yelled some random shit until he turned into a near-naked superhero? Well, yeah. more like a cheap action figure. He uh, possesses Herculean strength, speed, durability, and a super breath which can blow over most foes. And probably breath. a few other things if you know what I'm saying. The indestructible power <laughs> sword is the conduit for his imbued abilities and has some unique powers of its own. Like any good sword, it deflects lasers and nice. can also do a bunch of other random stuff like magnetize special rings or tie people up with magic SM. And while he is skilled enough to throw his sword like a boomerang, he occasionally uses uh, ranged no. gear, such as a grappling hook and bolus, to battle the evil of Skeletor. But I don't know where he's keeping those things. I mean, he's pretty much new. <laughs> Whoa! You'd think he'd keep it in his battle harness made of Corridite, which, by the way, further multiplies his already insane strength by 10. That's what the sorceress fashioned this harness from. It helps add to my power. This is weird. Prince Adam is not the only one getting a power up. He has an adopted cat whom he saved from the jungle at a young age. He named him Cringer, cause well, he's a little bitch. But whenever He-Man transforms, he zaps the little pussy, turning him into the ferocious battle cat. That's pretty cool. Despite Cringer's reluctance and downright refusal to do so. He's kinda like the Michael Vick of Cartoon Heroes. <gasps> oh, no. Jesus! Mother didn't raise any yes. foolish children. Granted, Battle Cat is a tremendous asset. He is so vicious, it's implied that if he doesn't transform back into Cringer, he could go on an unstoppable rampage. Pretty After cool. All, he is half his... tiger, half dragon. Wow. Yeah, gimme, 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 gimme. His roars can cause earthquakes. Mountains, reversed a tornado, they have dragon in their son? Half dragon. What the fuck? And dug to the center of the planet with nothing but a broken stalactite. What the what fuck? The fuck? He even shattered Photanium, the strongest metal in his universe, when even his closest friends believed it would be too much for him. And he traded blows with Superman. Okay. You know that one guy who can lift entire planets and maybe killed your favorite person ever? <laughs> well, yeah. he's not that strong, but he did manage to push a moon once, or twice. But despite his miraculous strength, he is not invincible. Enough raw force can revert him back to the far more vulnerable state of Prince Adam. He also despises violence, preferring to outsmart opponents, and thus has much less physical combat experience than you'd think. Still, he's pretty good at beating the ever-living crap out of people, no matter what planet Jesus, he's, shattered. he's on. That's right, the 1990s New Adventures of He-Man is technically the same He-Man we all know, giving him much more experience. Wait, 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 what was that? Shh, this is vital. No, 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 go back, go back, right there. There you go, fella. Good as new. What? Okay, so it's broken. I guess I'll just magic it back together. The magic of the 80s, Boomstick. 
The magic of the 80s. Yep. The magic of lazy writing. Next time you might try knocking first. Hey man. Let's get this show on the road. God. As a child, Lionel barely escaped the destruction of his home planet Thundera. Hmm. Kind of like Superman. His father sent him to Third Earth with five Thundarian nobles to uphold the royal lineage. Okay. You know, I'm really getting tired of people ripping off Superman. But the Kryptonian comparison stops there. As en route to Third Earth, a suspension capsule malfunction, or something it's not really explained, caused his body to age 10 years. During that time, he grew in size, but he did not grow up. What's going on? Oh! Oh, we missed the cute kitty stage. Shut up, kittens are adorable. Kittens are evil. The newly crowned they don't like me. Thundercats, Lionel is the leader of the group and commands all of cat kind. Lionel has power over all cats. Oh yeah. Snarf, snarf. Against the evil fucker. forces of Mumra, Lionel fucker. was forced to mature on the battlefield. He is a quick learner, helped by his cat-like abilities and attributes. Which means he's got superhuman agility and senses. Right. For example, while a human's nose has 5 million odor-sensitive cells, a cat's has over 200 million. Cats can hear five times better, have panoramic vision, and use their whiskers like antenna to scan for trouble. Meaning it's actually very unlikely for curiosity to kill a cat. Unless they're distracted by bright shiny things. <laughs> he's a manly sports bra and wrestling <laughs> and doesn't seem to own anything else. Guess someone forgot to pack, oh, you know, clothes for the interplanetary trip. <laughs> Wardrobe aside, he wields the Sword of Omens, a pocket-sized dagger which transforms into an epic blade after the most badass battle cry ever. Thunder! 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 Thundercats! Oh! That's a bad it's signal. Extremely durable double-edged blade that cuts through stone and steel with ease. He can fly, make force fields, and shoot over 15 okay. different kinds of beams. Lightning bolts, fire blasts, and even a tractor beam which Lionel can guide things with. Which is great for <laughs> when you're on the couch. Sword of Omens, bring me snacks beyond snacks. And a beer. The sword's power oh, stems from the gem housed in its hilt, the Eye of Thundera. A legendary jewel with limitless magical power, which its wielder can call upon even from a great distance, such as inside a black hole. Sword of Omens, come to my hand. Black hole. It is powerful enough to hold an entire planet together and can spy on people and events across space and time. What the fuck? Give me sight beyond sight. Holy hell. He wears the claw shield, an extremely durable claw glove thing, with which, in his first outing, he effortlessly punched down a tree. Hey, that's just like how I catch squirrels for supper. The claw shield may be small, but it's proven effective against blades, blows, and lasers. As a bonus, it has four grappling hooks, a smoke screen, and functions as a neat little scabbard for the Sword of Omens. But the claw shield can't protect him from everything. While lion -O is certainly quite sophisticated wow. for an oversized 13-year-old man-kitten, he is still somewhat immature and hot-blooded. Also, both lion -O and the Eye of Thundera share a common weakness to a glowing red rock called Thundranium. Okay, I lied. There was one more Superman ripoff. While the eye is one of the most powerful weapons ever conceived, it may also be his greatest weakness. Turns out it's the source of life for all Thundercats. So if it's destroyed, so is Lionel. And his entire race. I know! I'll bring it into constant danger and get disarmed a lot! Still, wow. Lionel is stronger, smarter, and faster than any other Thundercat. He can pull down a spaceship attempting escape velocity and won a foot race against Chitara, who can run 120 miles per hour. Oh, and look, he fought <laughs> Superman too. What the fuck? Seriously? By boiling water, the molten core of the planet, and even the vacuum of space? 80s magic, Wiz. 80s lazy writing magic. Sword of Omens, give me power beyond power. Oh! All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, hello, Netflix, my old friend. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. You can watch anything instantly on your TV, computer, phone, or video game console. 
Watch what you want, when you want. And now with their own original programming, like the new season of Arrested Development, Netflix is bigger and better than ever. And if you're not watching Arrested Development, you've made a huge mistake. But you can correct that mistake by going to Netflix.com slash death battle for a free 30-day trial membership. But right now, it's time for a death battle! <sighs> okay, what do you think? I'm kind of leaning towards He-Man because he can... Really? He, he, he has like a bunch of physically weird shit. He has a bunch of physically weird shit? Like that whole drill thing where he just started drilling and he broke... The uh, the metal of the strongest metal in his universe. Yeah, he's strong. I was kind of leaning more towards Lionel because he's he seems to have have more less. He has more non physical abilities. It seems like and the He Man doesn't really, seems to be more physical. And then they both He-Man. fought Superman. Yeah, who kicks Superman's ass harder? They didn't say that. I'm gonna go with the He Man. Final answer. I'm going with Lionel this time. All right, slap bet. Yeah, bet. Slap bet. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay, Christian. Hey, man. Let's try this again. This time, no whining, okay? Oh no, not again. <laughs> By the Scary power cat. of Grey Skull. Hey, man. Hey, man. I have the power. Nice. The pain. Did you just say the pain? That sounds like trouble. Thunder. Thunder! Thunder! Thunder cats! Okay, another reason I went with He-Man is because Lionel has the fucking gem on his sword. He gets broken. He dies. Alright, Battle Cat. Let's go do something normally perceived as impossible. Stop right there! Is that supposed to be is that supposed to be fourth wall breaking? What is that? Muscular fiend! Noble Tiger! Turn on your master! What? Control over animals! That should what? keep you busy for a while. He just I am Lionel, punched him away. Lord of the Thundercats, and you will pay for your animal cruelty. I am He-Man. Back off, feline. You are clearly not equipped to. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fight. Fight. Yeah. From rock. Come on, He-Man. Surrender! You are disarmed. I've got plenty of tricks left. Oh yeah, that thing. <coughs> Smoke screen. Have to clear this. He's gonna blow. Yeah. There. Now where did he go? Oh shit. He's in a loose. Of omens. Come to me. He's in a I loose fucker. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. Boomerang! Oh, what? <gasps> Want to keep going? Looks like you're a bit tied up at the moment. Ugh. Sorry, Catman, but you won't string me along that easily. He's gonna bust out of it! Yeah! He, man! He just looks at his That's pretty cool. A whirlwind should blow him off course. Tornado! This just seems like some. I got. I must admit, it doesn't even look like they're trying. Oh! Shit! Shit! Now to finish you off. Wait, where did you go? Sword of Omens. Give me sight beyond sight. Hmm. Fucking cheater. A mountain. Why show me this? Wait a minute. That's oh what? Oh shit, he's lifting the fucking mountain. He's gonna throw the mountain. He's... My god, that is actually terrifying. Give me power beyond power. He's gonna shatter it? Damn. Disintegrate. Destroy the mountain. Hey man. Oh, force field. Oh, he broke the force field. Ah, oh, come on. What is that? Come on. Oh! Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. 
finished. Oh. That gem, it's looking at me. What the hell? God damn it. What's gonna happen? Oh! Well, looks like Curiosity killed this cat. <laughs> he landed. What a crushing defeat! Oh, look, he's doing the thing. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. The eye of the Dara is easily the most dangerous weapon He Man has ever faced, more than capable of obliterating him if given the chance. Not only can the Power Sword deflect all Lionel's main attacks, it's obvious He Man is strong enough to break the Sword of Omens. Just like how the super strong and horribly named Tug Mug broke it in the Thundercats show. A moon weighs approximately 70 quintillion metric tons. The highest official amount a human being has ever lifted without support is over 260 kilograms. Even after excluding the Cordite battle harness, E-Man is 10 quadrillion times stronger than the strongest man on Earth. See, and you guys all thought you'd never see He-Man pound a pussy. The winner is He-Man. I really thought I was going to lose there. I honestly thought I was going to lose. And I would have been... It was kind of stupid. Furious. You know, you could have just slapped me. We could have gotten this over with. Yeah. We knew this. Well, I didn't. We already knew this was going to happen. All right, all right, all right. You ready for this? Bitch! Give me a little bit of a headache. <laughs> Why, people? Why do I keep losing? Seriously, gave me a headache. Oh, oh sorry, my God. Man. Ow. I just thought you hit me. I didn't even say anything. I was just like... You just... Accepted it. I was <laughs> just like, accept your fate. Yep. All Hope right. you guys enjoyed that reaction. I'm Jace. And I'm Josh. And we will see you guys in the next video.